Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Crank Gameplays video, and this one kind of intrigued me. I became British for a day or something like that. I And based on the thumbnail, it kind of looks like, you know, tea. You know, we gotta drink our tea, darling. <laughs> Cheerio, darling. It's kind of rubbish, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's it's not very great. It's kind of rubbish. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I know my British accent is rubbish. What are you can do? What are you can do? <laughs> but uh, I'm kind of curious on what he's gonna be doing with all that tea to sip on, all that drama. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, let's get right into it. So off of the uh, duh, let's react to this video, shall we? Jesus Christ, what's with this filter? Okay. Tea. Specifically British tea. I have never ever had a cup of proper British tea before. I have a lot of mods that are from the UK. I have a lot of friends that are from the UK. And I get shamed for it. Especially whenever I drink tea on stream or in a video. People are always like, what tea are you drinking? What tea are you drinking? drinking? I don't know, dude. It's like green tea or something. I don't know. A throat coat? You ever throw out your coat, dude? And so today, I thought that I would finally dive into... What, it what the heck is that hoodie? Spongebob. Oh, right. 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 Because they always, you know, the British, you know all about the British and how they fucking just think they're so much better than us with that fucking tea, dude. How good could it be? How good could it be? This is sugar. So I've got the key. He's got two camera angles. I've got milk. I've got my thing. A lot of people are also apparently really disturbed. I love this mug. It's big. It's boisterous. It can fill a lot of liquid. People don't like that it's clear. <laughs> for this video, one, I want to... Why is it that triggering to people? Two, it'll be good to see. And you're holding it like uh, a lobster. You know? So, you're I holding it like Jack. I one of my mods to make a video for me on how to make a proper cup of tea. So we got to boil the kettle. I don't have it. I also got uh, so many crumpets. It's I a crumpet. What are you gonna do? Four more of these. <laughs> I have five of these bags. Of it's a crumpet. Can I even eat these? We're gonna have a classic tea and crumpet combo. What's going on here? Boil a kettle. Uh huh. Put a tea bag in. Yep. Yeah. Put in. He's such water. a tea bag. Okay, stir the tea. Stir the tea. Put in a dash of milk. Tiny bit of That's milk. not very much milk at all. Just milk? Is there no sugar in this? A little bit more milk. Oh, jeez. Oh, Take the tea bag out. Kind of looks no like coffee. No sugar but... in the pot? That's a laugh, dude. All right, so that, I think, is a controversial way on how to make tea. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it right now because I know people put sugar in tea. I got PG tips. Huh? PG. Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea. tea. I got these. I don't want... Any of these, actually. Hookah tea? I don't really want green matcha tea. I don't think I want that. I also got this big old box. Twinnings, green tea. I got Thai food tea. I got Thai classic black tea. And I got Lion's original blend. All right, so let's go with the classic first. Let's go with PG tips because all the British people love their PG tips and they say, oh, <laughs> What's your favorite tea? What's your favorite tea? Come eat, right. How do I open this? What's your favorite ah. tea? <gasps> Who's to feel the fresh taste? Wow. It smells Wanker. like tea. My door is open. My kettle is on. To, hmm, from, hmm. Come on over. It's been too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. Put the tea bag in. In my coffee, I usually put like a spoon and a little bit of sugar. Right. Let's put the what? tea in. Okay, a little dash, a little dash of it. Is that too much milk? Maybe it might be too much. I need somewhere to put my tea bags. <laughs> macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. All right, Louis Armstrong, what are you doing? Do my neighbors hate me? My neighbors probably hate me. Okay, I've got it. Ah, it's great to see you again. No, that sounds like more like Yoda. Hungry are you? You want tea? You want yes? Right. 
Do you want yes? Mm hmm? British to yes? Mm hmm? Who, who's British on my phone? Who's British on your phone? It doesn't taste like anything, Charlie. It tastes like warm liquid. I'm using PG tips, by the way. I also put sugar in there. You didn't in the video. I forgot. It doesn't taste like anything, is the deal. It doesn't taste like anything. Did I get the right PG tips? I got the original. Start seeing you. Maybe it's because I don't have enough British in me. <laughs> <laughs> I got enough. I don't got enough British in my. Alone. Fuck! I can't, I can't even speak today. A cup of coffee. Where it's like it looks more like coffee stuff. to begin with, like the, the color of it. It's kind of just hot water. I forgot to eat the crumpets with it, dog. Is that a crucial step? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help. All right, from the resident British person. Like We're gonna try the other standard, which is Yorkshire tea, mine. Yorkshire so tea. Bloody tea. Bloody they tea don't, here. I couldn't just get one thing of tea. Like they don't just sell one box of tea. They, they sell, sell they multiple. Sell like huge packs for some reason. It's kind of rubbish. Get it off. A rich, refreshing, classic black tea. That's Yorkshire for you. Where is Yorkshire? Yorkshire. I said Yorkshire for some fucking reason. Yorkshire. Since 1886. Well, they haven't fucking. They haven't changed it since 1886. No wonder why. Sounds like Coke. They don't even have flavor. They kind of changed it some slightly, but pretty much the same. They just removed the cocaine from it. I'm disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Says my dad. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm gonna keep the tea bag in. A lot of people say to get it out, but. You know, I took. I didn't let it stink. Uh. Oh my god. I figured it out, gamers. The reason why it didn't taste good and it had no flavor was I only let it sit for a couple of a couple of seconds and then I took it out. I didn't get the full flavor experience because I didn't allow myself to. See, isn't this good? You can clearly see what I'm dealing with. I didn't what we're dealing with here. Beer. Block it right in front of me. Why are Ziploc stuff on things more? You know? I don't know. <laughs> wow. I don't know, mate. They're so moist. That's a wow. Moist, mate. <laughs> tea. So this is Yorkshire, the other sort of standard of tea. Oh, I'm definitely getting a little bit more of a scent here. Oh, I'm getting an essence of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I can't taste it because I just blew my fucking tongue off. Die. Right. Is, it, is it that hot? It's so crumply good. That's really bad. Mm -hmm. Where do people not have taste buds? Why do people eat that? Listen, I don't want to shame British people. That's not what I'm doing here. What I'm it's doing pre <laughs> it's precisely what he's what doing. Do you do across the pond? You know? And I'm just not getting it. Yeah, it's like because Yorkshire you're not British and you're not from the UK. Crank Gameplay's making an official statement. I like Yorkshire tea better than PG Tips. The crumpets are really, really bad. Maybe I just got shitty crumpets, but they just don't taste like anything. And again, I'm not trying to shame your culture, dog. I'm just trying to live, laugh, love a little bit, you know? I'm just trying to figure out what the hype is all about. You what know? the hoopla is all about. How you see... With your eyes. We'll see with your eyes. Should I not do this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, up next is Typhoon. What the hell? There's so much... I have bought so much tea. If anybody in the LA area that I'm friends with wants tea... <laughs> He's probably not going to drink let this. Let me know, baby. Alright, I'm going to go out oh, and Christ. I'm going to make this as if... Sorry, somebody's going to call that number. What I'm doing and what the ratios are. Put it in that much milk. I'm not using sugar this time, all right? I'm going to be like an adult. Do adults put sugar in their tea? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. The sugar is a, is, a, is a child's ingredient, huh? A child's ingredient. Also, guys, I'm not wearing it right now, but go to CrankyBlitz.com and get the new merch. It's dandy. There's so many things. Still waiting for mine I, I to ship finally. I'm wearing it right now, but it's in the laundry. And I'm an idiot. And I think I'm an idiot. Kids. There's a lot of people on the internet 
that are like, wow, Ethan, Crank, and Blaze, what a hottie. What a hottie, mate. I'd have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> Whacking me myself. Pour it in, it's a lovely cup of tea. Pour it in, that looks just like milk. That looks gross. I don't really want to drink this. Oh, but it's turning darker as I let it steep more. All right. I think this tea is ready for my tummy. Maybe, maybe not. Your peanut and an allergy. I just don't get it! That's the shittiest one of the bunch. Absolutely. Maybe it's because I didn't put sugar in it, but that's the shittiest one. Well, you didn't let it sit there? You can't just call it original. Like, what is it? Original signature taste? Okay, but what does that mean? It's kind of like how Coca-Cola used to be... Original blend had, had the classic tag on their like product. Coca-Cola Classic. Right, here's the box that we got, and here's the tea. We got this tea, we got this tea, all of We got all that tea. We got English Afternoon. We got English so Afternoon. Very Fusion. I don't really want it. What's this? Earl, Earl Grey. Grey. I've heard so much about Earl Grey. What's this? I don't even know. What's this? Chai. Fresh Vanilla. Chai. Green tea. Whatever. Green tea, green tea. Da, da, da. Irish breakfast. What's the difference between <laughs> Right, That's so Jack's try, favorite. English breakfast, we're gonna try Irish breakfast, we're gonna try Earl Grey. Those are the ones. Let's start out with English breakfast. I've heard of many a many a good word about this is English afternoon. Alright. Smells exactly the same like everything else. Just put a dash in. That's good. Let's get some sugar in here. Let's put one and a little bit. Let's put the water in. Now let's mix this bich up. Excellent. We dunk, we dip, we dash. Let it sit there. Just let it sit there for a while. That's what I, I would do. Leave the tea bag in. Gamers, I'm calling it here. You leave the tea bag in. Don't you want more flavor rather than just more water? That's all I'm saying. I'm pretty sure everybody's yelling at him in the comments like, should have left the tea bag in there long, longer. Black tea? It's not going to be any different. Also, with all the unopened tea, I'll figure out something to do with that. I'm not just going to throw it all away. I'll, uh, I'll drink it some more. It's too hot. It's way too hot. I'm going to throw my mouth off. I'm Five minutes of browsing time. Twitter later. <laughs> God, it's still so flat hot. Maybe that's why. Hey, I'm not really a tea person either. I tried it, but it's just not my thing, really. That's the best one I've had yet. It's coming out and saying it. Twinnings English Afternoon. That's the best tea I've had yet. All right, let's do Earl Grey. Ooh, a different Oh, okay. so good. Let's put the mustard in. <laughs> the mustard. Mustard. Oh, we mixed it up. Didn't Earl Grey. I was impressed by the scent of this. How much time is left? Four minutes! <gasps> Alright! Alright! Twinnings! Let's go, dude! I like it! I don't know if I like it. I think I like a breakfast. Afternoon delight. What is this? English afternoon. I think I like English afternoon more, but hey, it's got flavor. I it's got flavor, like flavor, you know? Like you know, you wanker. I'm not crazy about the flavor, but at least it has flavor. It doesn't really taste like a water. All right, the final countdown, gamers. This is the final bag of tea. Twinning Irish breakfast mine. What's it smell like? Ooh, I like it. Look at this. Wow. 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 Oh, We're gonna press the tea bag up against the side of the wall here to get even more flavor draining out of this board. Here we are. It's the final. It's the it's the Wembley's final. <laughs> no. It's the World Cup final. <laughs> it's the <laughs> open <laughs> final. It's 20. the open. <laughs> what am I doing? 20. It's the British Irish Open. The, the sensation of the nation of Ireland. I pray. Jack. To the big man upstairs. Sean McLaughlin. <laughs> I pray to you to give me a cup of tea that is beyond extraordinary and beyond anything that I've ever experienced in my life. Okay? That's the worst one. Ireland, let me buy you. I'm not blaming it on Sean Jacksepticeye, but I am going to say. I'm not going to blame it on Jacksepticeye, just to make it clear. Cabinet Morning Coffee. Cabinet Morning. 
Well, is it like I think Top of the Morning is planning? Jack did say he's planning on to do tea for Top of the Morning. Buy it myself. I don't get it for free. He's gonna do like tea at some point. All right, this video is done. Okay. It's this, this video is done. is done. You could go fuck off. What are you doing? How are you still recording? I'm gonna address you. You, you, you. I don't know. You and this you. Guy, you can fuck off. This has been an experiment to see. You and you. You're kind of rubbish. I did really I'm not impressed, mate. And Earl Grey. English Afternoon was the best tea that I had here today. No space on the memory card one. Okay, just talking to you now. This was an experiment that I decided to try because I wanted to see what it's like to be a British person with tea. And I wasn't impressed. It's all about learning and becoming more cultured and, you know, stepping You're out. You're such an uncultured swine. Huh? So thank you for stepping outside your comfort zone and experiencing what it means to be a tea master. A master of tea. Tea bag. I'm leaving. I'm going far away. And I'm never coming back. <laughs> I don't know that this was anywhere enjoyable. Was it? Maybe. It depends on who's watching. Um, the proudest I've ever been of Grinch. I think it looks awesome. It's super fucking comfy. And yeah, anybody who pre ordered it already, it should be coming in January. So just to let you know. It is fucking January, and I'm still waiting for my notification for it to be shipped. You wanker. It's a south boy here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, is that who's honest? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my god. What the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck is that video? I'm, I'm, I'm just scrolling through his channel and the f one video I happen to see is this one video called Shower with your dad simulator 2015 and the thumbnail just is questionable. But that video, but this video I thought was pretty funny, like, you know, pretty entertaining, like, just to hear, like, him try, him trying to do a British accent and everything, and trying all these different kinds of British teas, and stuff like that, and probably, you know, goofing up, messing up, and not really, you know, leaving in the tea bag prop long enough, Chase Brody might have something to say about that. But it was pretty funny, like, especially, like, that one with the, the Irish one. <laughs> He's like, he will, he, we could t say pray, we pr say prayers to the man upstairs, Sean McLaughlin. <laughs> Sean McLaughlin, you know, jokes up the guy. That's pretty, that was kind of funny. And then, uh, the part at the end when he does the Unazanas thing, he's like, oh, I can't, fuck, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> like, I immediately thought, I was thinking, oh, Unisonis? <laughs> Memento Mori. Let's Unis honestly. Let's be Unis honest over here, okay? Unis honestly, you know. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Why am I talking like a, like, like a dumbass here with this horrible accent. It's kind of rubbish, alright? Can I say that? It's kind of rubbish. Man, what uh, other videos can we check out from South Boy over here? This Clank of Gameplays over here. What can we see from this fucking Blue Boy over here?
Right now, he hasn't uploaded anything since that T video. That's all he can do. <laughs> Why am I still talking like that? We're still waiting for, I guess, for that one video, I guess, a follow-up video of... Uh, like, from the watching content you stole from me video, where he watched, I guess, a couple compilations. And he's like, I want you guys to find some of the weirder, the, like, the rarer clips of me. The weirder clips of me. Like, you know, stuff like that. Like, he said something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure. No, the only other video that I think I have to check out right now is from Mark. And that's the obvious, you know, video involving three scary games <laughs> and despite the fact that literally everyone in your mother is making a confession about how Markiplier isn't real and stuff like that and everybody's going crazy thinking oh this is all a hype for heist with Markiplier 2 or whatever project he's working on it's obvious it's a it's something but you never know. Like, honestly, you can never know. You'll never know what it will be until it finally comes out. Yeah, that one video that I had in mind to react to, which was that freaking, I take a hearing test, but a leaf blower is blasting right outside. There was a lot of high-pitched ringing in it, and I don't want to really, you know, make it that uncomfortable for people to listen when they're, if they're listening with headphones. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do that. Just go in the hole. Let's go, let's go for round. Well, you put on, put on the telly. There was like a funny rant that I remember listening to. Like, here, there was this like funny clip from this guy on, um, ESPN radio uh, in, the, in the area I live in this guy named Don LaGreca he is probably the funniest guy I've ever heard when it came to rants um, there was like this one rant he went on about golf and he is not a, clearly not a fan of golf and he <laughs> uh, like he talked about how the announcers were kind of being you know so, like, you know, I don't know what word to use, but they were so, like, they don't want people calling it, you know, the British Open or or stuff like that. They just want it to be referred to, to as the, the Open. The Open! <laughs> it's so, set, like, so dumb, dumb to call it the British Open. It's... It's forevermore going to be known as the Open. And then he had a funny quote about, you know, we're going to go into the like, garage. We'll put on the telly and watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> he said something along those lines, which was pretty funny. There was like another rant I remember listening to from him involving, he ranted about this commercial for McDonald's back in like 2016, I believe. It was like this one with a wedding, involving a wedding. There was this like wedding couple that, like after that long day with of their wedding and they're finally in the limo and they see like the wife sees, you know, the girl sees all the food in front of in front of like in the limo on this little table in the limo and she rolls down the window and I guess her dad gave it to her as like something you know nice and you know stuff like that and he went off <laughs> he went off on that commercial saying how stupid it was like call like saying something along the lines of like your your fat hand juice or something like I'm like what the fuck is he talking about like he's really ridiculous some of the stuff he says he's out there with some of the shit he says I 
I think there's a couple compilations on YouTube of the best rants from Don LaGreca. It is so funny. Like, the one where he was trying to adjust his microphone, and then it just decides to say, screw it, I'm going to fall. And he's like, look at this garbage! Look at this garbage! And then he walks off. <laughs> they also, like, you know, show this on the Yes Network, which is also the home of the New York Yankees. He, They show it on that network, too. <laughs> and off camera, he yells, fix that! <laughs> it's Don LaGreca... Michael Kay, who is the also the broadcast, you know, announcer for the New York Yankees, and Peter Rosenberg. Those are the guys on the show. On the Mike, it's the Michael Kay show. Let's say. I don't know why I said ESPN. The Michael Kay show. I don't know why I'm talking about Michael Kay. Because it had something to do with a rant that Don LaGreca went on, and when he decided to do a British accent involving golf and the British Open or the Open. <laughs> We're so cool here. <laughs> it's kind of rubbish, you know. Cheerio, cheerio, darling. <laughs> so anyways, enough enough rambling. Even though some people will just skip right to the end just to hear me ramble on about the dumb shit that I say. I don't know. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to also check out my Instagram because I'm a Colette's and Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and myself. I also react with the cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to also check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, mate.